Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to live PlayStation 5 PGA Tour 2K21 gameplay. Today we are going to be taking a look at Maya Pearl GC. This one was designed by Jamie Todd. It was recommended to me in my new early 1981's World of Golf Discord channel. So please head over there and check it out. Now, to my knowledge, this is Jamie's only second course. So let's have a look at the course settings. As always, we will be leaving everything at default. The fairways are firm, the greens are firm, the green speeds are fast, time of day is dawn and the weather is clear. Let's have a look at the tee options. We do have three tee options. We are going to be swinging from the black tees which are playing a lengthy 7,410 yards and as always pin set number one. Now like I said this is Jamie's only second course to my knowledge so no idea what to expect here. We do have brutal wind conditions here, 14 mile per hour winds coming in from the south east. But what a fantastic looking environment here on the opening hole. I think this is a delta theme he's used here. But wow, really like the look of this. You can see straight away that the fairways are going to be very undulating. Some really cool mountain views. So just going to try and take this down the left hand side. That fairway looks like it's going to kick right. Baby fast to tee things off here on master difficulty setting, but surely this does hold up on the left hand side of the fairway. It has done, we just cling to the left edge, we are going to have an awkward lie at our feet. A 13 mile per hour wind coming in, so just going to try and land this at the left hand side of the flag stick and allow the slope to take us down towards the pin hopefully. So 8 iron. Oh, it's another slight fast. We are going to find that slope, but we may kick too long now. There is a firm kick. Yeah, I really needed to execute the perfect there, but it is going to give us an open and birdie opportunity. 11 feet out. Green speeds are 175. There is a good bit of movement here from left to right. Just going to play this dead weight, hopefully. That should turn. It has turned, and that is a fantastic opening putt. If only I could putt like that all the time. And, and we do kick things off here at Maya Pearl with a birdie. So hole number two, it's a par three. Oh, wow, look at these river views. Absolutely stunning. I really, really like that, guys. Especially the rock work. That has been superbly done. So, 233 yards, down 28 feet. We've got a 12 mile per hour wind behind us. I think we may have to shape this hybrid just a tiny little bit. Try to find the right hand side of the green. Oh, effortless. Oh, it's another slight fast. Fortunately, we are going to find the right hand side of the green. This may work out really, really well despite the tiny fast. These greens are very, very firm. It's like hitting concrete. Once again, I really needed to get the perfect there. But as we all know, on master difficulty, it's easier said than done. So this is a tricky uphill putt. 16 feet, once again a lot of swing in this, I've not allowed enough for that, we are just going to miss on the right edge, good attempt though, and we're just a tap away so we do here. drop that in for a part, we will remain at one under, and we do step okay, onto the third tee, this is a par right five, and with this wind in our face, this is going to be unreachable in two I do believe, I'm going to try and take this down the centre of the fairway, and leave myself a good line of sight, up nice towards the green. It's another baby fast, but that should work out perfectly. Especially in these conditions, sometimes a little fast will gain you a few extra yards off the tee. So 303 yards, 284 yards to the flag stick. We do have a 13 mile per hour crosswind. I don't think we're going to reach, but I'm going to try and kick this up there with driver off the deck. It's a very narrow landing zone we have here. Slope and wind that are going to move us to the left. Oh, it's another slight fast. Couldn't have got closer to the perfect. Oh, don't tell me that's bunker. I think that was more the slope more than anything else that I didn't respect enough. And with that, we have found the bunker. So this could be a tricky up and down for birdie here. I am going to opt to flop this with a gap wedge. 48 yards it goes. 75 to 83%. This should be made for this here. Should get a good bit of run out as well. It's a good execution. This should release out. It has done. This has got a chance of dropping if it's got the legs. Just comes up a little bit short. 
and it's still no gimme putt from six feet out. These greens do offer a real test. But we do drop that into the left-hand side and we do pick up our second birdie of the round. And with that, we are two under. So, hole number four. 441 yard par four. Once again, very tight fairway to land on with a big dog here. Anything down the right-hand side should kick left. We're just shaping this against the wind, aiming left hand side off the fairway. There's a baby slow. That is really going right. We should kick left though. Not sure if it'll take us back out onto the fairway. It has that as a member's bounce. But you could clearly see from the tee box that anything down the right hand side was going to kick back into play. Oh my goodness, this is such a tough pin to access. Some of these pins, especially in this wind conditions here, are just so tough to get near with the firm conditions as well. So gap wedge, try to use the wind and the slope. We do get the perfect. Wow, that ball took a flyer. That's way overshot the pin, that is weird. That slight slope, our feet really accelerated us forward. And as you can see, with these slopes and these greens and the firm conditions, that was never gonna stay on the dance floor. Let's see if we can chip this one close. Not looking to be overly aggressive here, just want to make sure that we give ourselves a par opportunity. Anything long and left is just going to disappear off the green and onto the fairway. It's a good execution. Needs to check up though. Wow, it still ran on a fair bit despite me just feathering that. And, uh, this will be your par putt here. I would have liked to have left myself an easier par putt. These are the kind of putts I do miss on a regular basis, guys, as you all seen recently, especially on my uh, society events. I just cannot seem to putt for toffee there. But that is a good up and down to get the par saved. So, hole number five. Oh, this is a drivable par four. Driver's too long. Three wood should comfortably get us there. I'm just going to see where the best place to land this is. It looks like the fairway kicks left, but if we do carry just to the front of the green, it should kick straight forward. And hopefully, the lay of the green is going to take us up towards the flagstick. It's a good strike. Now, surely this kicks straight forward. It has done. This could be a really good eagle chance here, guys. This could actually be an albatross. Go on. Has it got the legs? It's turning towards the hole beautifully. This has got a chance. No, it's just not going to turn enough. But what a fantastic golf shot, guys. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button. Hopefully, we can convert this six-foot putt for eagle. Just going outside so left edge. It does oh, turn into yeah. the hole. And that is a superb eagle. eagle. And with that, we really right, improve our score. And we move to four under par. Under par. This one's a so par hole number six. Three. Short downhill par three. The wind is with us here though. Wow. These greens are really aggressive. Just going to try and play the slope. Hopefully we can carry the bunker with this pitching wedge. That's a strong wind. We do execute another perfect. I need that to go. Need it to go. Oh, it's a really firm bounce. I just cannot get close to some of these pins today, guys, especially in this wind conditions. The course, as you can see, plays extremely firm. But these pins are so, so tough to get near. Let's see if we can chip this one close. Once again, playing rather conservative here. You just need to look at the, the beads. It's a good execution. Is it going to turn? Oh, it just comes up short. I'm liking that one. Nice chip. We do tap it in, tap in for the par save, and we will remain at four under par. But this is a really good course, guys. Right, really enjoying the challenge right out here. Four under. Strategy oh, is the key the at Maya one. Pearl, that's for sure. So it's another tight fairway. We are going to have to try and find the center of the fairway here with the help of the wind. So just aiming for the bunker. We should comfortably carry that with a perfect. It's a baby slow. That should work out fine. The wind is really struggling to bring me back here. We do find the fairway. Oh, that is such an unkind bounce on these undulating fairways. Oh, that is such a pity. It is only light rough. But once again, look at these river views. I really love the environment here. The rock work is absolutely superb. This is going to be a tough shot. 
coming out the light rough. Once again, such a tough pin to get close to. We are going to try and find the left-hand side of this green and get it running up towards the flag stick. But that is easier said than done. So hopefully five iron. We should get a firm kick out on these greens, especially coming out the light rough. We do get the perfect. The wind is taking me more to the left than I allowed for, but it should get a good kick. It has done. Oh, wow, that wind just moved me a lot more to the left-hand side than I allowed for. I think if we aimed another couple of yards right, that would have worked out well. I think we can be a little bit more aggressive in this chip shot here. So let's see if we can hold this one out. It's another slight slow. Has it got the legs, though? It had the legs, just never really had the line. Tell you what, even that's really trickled on. These, these greens are like glass. Even at the 175 speed. It should turn. It does turn. We do hold that out for the par after failing to find the fairway due to an unlucky bounce. But hole number eight. This is going to be a long par four into this wind. Fairway heavily guarded by bunkers. I think we should comfortably come up short of the bunker. It's in the middle of the fairway. It's a good strike. This should definitely kick right anyway. It has done. We are going to have another awkward lie at our feet. The wind is now 16 mile per hour. But we do have a backstop to use here. It's going to be tough though. I'm just going to try and shape this into the wind. Try and find the left hand side of the pin. Big shot coming up here. Oh, we get the perfect. That ball is turning superbly. Need it to get down though. Oh, what a golf shot this is, guys. That is a superb golf shot. Couldn't have played that any better. That is pure exhibition golf. We have been rewarded with a six-foot putt. A lot of movement in this though. Oh, early. There we go, guys. That is where my game is at just now. You cannot play a world-class golf shot like that and miss the putt from six feet. Sadly, I do. Just not investing enough time into my game just now to, to be one of the better players out there. It's my putting that's letting me down more than anything else, and it really is in my head now. I need to stop mentioning it. I seem to talk myself out of every putt. So we do remain at four under par. Hole number nine. This is going to be a lengthy par five. Should nail this a good 300 yards though. Like Baby play. fast. It's an elevated tee box. But how good does this course look? It really is spectacular looking. We have found a light rough. We were never finding the green in two here. Due to the wind. So just going to lay up here with a three. We'd leave myself nothing more. Than probably a pitch or a flop into this ninth green. Quite a solid lie here. I'm quite pleased the designer has made the light rough and heavy rough not too punishing because with the undulating fairways you are getting a lot of unkind kicks. Okay, that's wonderful. Back in the fairway. But it's a good shot back what into the fairway. Like? It is going to be a a wedge into here. Let's flop it. Full backspin. Now, as we've seen in my previous video on the training facility, the wind does not hold up uh, flop shots for some reason. Oh, we couldn't have played that any better. This should hopefully sit down. What a golf shot that is. Wind did not hold that up at all. But let's see if we can convert a birdie putt this time. Very similar putt to what I just missed on the previous hole. But look at the views just past the green here. That's a better putt. We do pick up the birdie. And we are going to finish the front nine at five under par. But really enjoying my time out here in the course. The views are clearly stunning. But the course is all about strategy. You've got to plan out every single shot from tee to green. So this time we've got wind advantage. Setting us down the right hand side with a little bit of shape. Oh, there's another fast early. I'm hitting too many fast now off the tee box. This may just about hold the light rough. Quite the elevated green. No, we do trickle into the heavy rough. But like I said, hats off to the designer for not making the heavy rough too punishing. Because the conditions are just like concrete out here. So I think we're going to have to play full backspin on the 7 iron. 
allow the wind to take us into that bank and hopefully kick off it. Oh, we get a perfect. Are we going to find the bank? Needs to go. Oh, it's a great shot. Look at the kick, though. Wowzers. That really is just like kicking into the, the concrete and it's still slipped off the green. Oh, don't. Oh, that is so, so punishing, guys. Wow. I think some of these shots are just a bit too extreme. I played a good shot into the bank to try to stop the ball. And we have really been punished here. So this is now a delicate splash shot. Don't want to put this too far past the flagstick. Would rather leave it short and leave myself an uphill putt. Get down, get down. We've done exactly that. And we are going to walk away with a par if we do convert this four footer, which we do. But yeah, just experiencing a lot of uh, unkind kicks here out in my apparel. And we do step onto hole number 11. It's a par three. I've loved the variation on the par threes. It's a really tough pin set. I'm just going to try and draw this against the wind with a seven iron and land this just over the top of the bunker and see if we can kick up the slope towards the flagstick. Really need to turn this a lot from right to left. Oh, it's beautiful execution. Absolute laser beam. How's it got the legs? The line is superb. No, it's just going to come up short. And I love these hairy bunkers, by the way. Really cool. I needed another few yards there, but even a yard past the pin and that ball just disappears off the, the face of the green. So delicate splash shot here. Cannot be long. This is a tough shot. Just getting the partial. We do get the partial. I would have liked that closer. This is certainly missable. From nine feet. This is a tough putt. Just to save par. Oh, it's a good read and execution note. We were so unlucky with a tee shot. I was really in between clubs there. Needing another couple of yards of carry. I just love the look of the river flowing through this course. It really is magnificent. It's another drivable par four. I'm just making sure that this is the green. I'm going to be far too long. I don't think three would get there. So we're going to have to really draw this against the wind, try and find the top left-hand side of the green. I think that's all I can do. We do have a 16 mile per hour wind. If I don't play this well, this is in the war. I want to be aggressive. And make sure we carry it. It's a baby slope, but it is turning beautifully. We are going to find that top shelf of the green. Hopefully, it doesn't run away too much. No, that is a great shot. I don't think we could have done much better there. But just look at how aggressive these greens are. Splash shot should be good. Slope at our feet, and green is going to turn away. From the flag stick. Oh, early. It's a huge red fast. Oh, wow. Really didn't mean to execute the ball to go six yards. Eh, ten feet past. Six feet? Ten feet past early. It is a makeable putt, though, uphill. Just going to play this farm. It is a good birdie. We were awarded for a good tee shot there. We almost tried to make a mess of it with the, the splash shot. But hole number 13, it's another tight fairway, uphill. Mountain views off there in the distance. So setting this way outside the left-hand side, wind should bring us back. It has done. Tiny slope, but this is going to leave us a tough shot against the wind into the green yeah, here from an awkward lie. It's got a 13 mile per hour crosswind. I think we can just about get there with six iron. Looking to play the kick. It, it's Lynx Golf. That's what you're having to play here, guys, is basically Lynx Golf. With the firmness of the terrain. That's a great shot. This should comfortably kick left and up onto the dance floor. Oh, wow. You just can't accommodate for the firm kicks. It really is a tough course. Nice stroke. We're on the green. I much prefer these tougher courses where you've got to think your shot through than courses where you can just comfortably hit driver and attack every single pin. 
This should turn. This should turn. Oh my goodness. It almost turned into the left edge of the cup. So far so good. We're just not getting the, well the breaks of the course today. We're playing well, particularly on master yeah, difficulty, but the course has given us nothing. So hole number 14. This is a shorter par 5. We may reach this in 2 if we can find the fairway. Just going to shape this against the wind. A little bit of fade. Oh, early. There's a red slope. It may kick left. Just as well we applied a little bit of fade there. Otherwise, that ball would have just went hard right. It was that bad a tee shot. It was good. Ooh. I think with full loft, we may get a favourable kick here up onto the green. But as you can see, the green falls and slopes off to the right. Aiming way right at the green with a lie at our feet. Oh, there's a red slope. That could well kick into the bunker. Oh, what a kick. Just when I said we weren't getting many kind kicks. That is a beautiful bounce there. Still came up short of the green. Another few yards. That might have worked out really well. It's going to have to be another gentle splash shot. Don't fancy chipping that with the aggressive breaks in these greens and slopes. If we play the weight here, this has got a chance of filtering all the way into the hole. This should really turn hard here. Oh, it's got a chance. Get in. Get in. Get in. What a golf shot that is there, guys. A good bit of luck involved there due to the fast, but I was always trying to get the ball landing roughly in that area and letting the break take it down towards the, the cup. And that is a fantastic eagle. I don't think our scores reflected how well we've played today, but this is a really tough course in these conditions, especially on master difficulty. But we do move to eight under par. We are on the 15th hole. Once again, fairway is protected with these hairy bunkers. I'm just going to try and find the center of these two bunkers here. The little gap. We do get the perfect. Wind's holding us up and taking us around beautifully. And we are going to find that gap. But I really love the look of this course and the layout. It's really a challenging course, guys. Don't expect to come onto this course and birdie every single hole. I'm actually just going to take a little bit of a practice swing here because if we can find... The front of the green, just short of the pin, and try and kick this up. We do have a good birdie opportunity. There's a slight fast. Not too impressed with my swing line today. There's a perfect. That'll do me. So try to kick this up onto the dance floor from the front of the green. The wind is taking us around beautifully. This has got a chance here. Oh, we landed on the fringe. That really took a lot of the momentum out of the bounce there. But we have left ourselves a very makeable putt from 17 feet out. It is uphill. That's got a chance, you know. It should. It does. I was going to say it should hold its line. I was thinking for one second we didn't hit it firm enough. But we do pick up the birdie. We do move to nine under par and we are on the 16th hole once again superb variations in the par three the green's just slightly above us i think we're gonna have to go four hybrid turn it against this 15 mile per hour wind and try and find the slope next to our cursor big shot coming up here tough shot it's a baby slope Oh, it's not got the legs. Why, I've really misjudged that. I have really misjudged the yardage there. Wow. Obviously, I took too much, or should I say, I applied too much shape to that. This is a tough splash just to get close and walk away with the, the part. I'm going to have to go gap wedge, full backspin here and just attack this. It's a decent shot. We did execute a red slope. It's another missable putt, though. This is just for par. Oh, that's missed. I knew as soon as I played it, it missed. Disappointed to be getting a bogey there. It's really our first mistake of the, the round that's punished us, to be fair. 
just misjudging the tee shot. But let's see if we can finish with a couple of birdies in these last two holes. We can comfortably reach the second part of the fairway here. It is divided with these bunkers. Oh, not what a red slope. Oh, early, that's trouble. That is trouble. This is going to be a tough shot now from the heavy rough. I think gap wedge with the wind should comfortably land us in the middle of the green and hopefully get a firm kick here. We get the perfect. Come on, go, go. Oh, it just comes up short of the green. That was unlucky. Back on the fairway I really expected that ball to come out of there a little bit better. Well, let's see if we can chip this one close. It's another tough chip. The green seem to run away from all of these flag sticks. Good execution. I don't think it's got the legs to, to tease the hole. Almost did though. Nice it is going to be a part nice which is solid after that tee shot. It's a course that you really nice must find the fairways, the guys. Or you are asking okay. big questions you off yourself to get birdies here. But hole number 18 it is a par 5. Let's see if we can finish with birdie here. Once again, we are in the wind. The wind's really not been kind to us today. But what a fantastic looking finishing hole, as you would expect. Tiny little fast. This should kick right, though. But I don't think we'll be able to reach this green into... I think we needed a 10 mile per hour wind with us here to even contemplate carrying the river here. Yeah, if I had a 10 mile per hour wind, I'm comfortably reaching that. Sadly, we're not. So we're just going to have to come into four hybrid. The wind should hold us up. And let's try and use all of this fairway here and leave us nothing more than a pitch shot into the green. It's a good strike. Love the clubhouse there. Little uh, driving range, practice facility behind it as well. That's a good shot. It is going to be a tricky pitch though. This is our third shot. The conditions have really been against us here. But let's see if we can pitch this one close. If we are long, there is a backstop, but I don't intend to be long, especially with this 11 mile per hour wind holding us up. Just got to get the, the execution right here. Oh, it's a baby fast. That'll miss the green. That is the punishment on Master Difficulty. I knew it. Oh, early. Yardage was really, really good too. So let's see if we can chip this one in and walk away with the birdie. Going to be aggressive here. Going to try and get the birdie. Is it going to go? Oh, just that fast took us long and left. But we are going to finish with a disappointing par, but the conditions were always against us here but that is a fantastic golf course guys love the environment love the strategy the views are absolutely stunning if you did enjoy this video please leave a like if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and until the next video take care peace out and love you all bye on behalf of myself and the team here at hb studios thank you very much for the wrap we'll see you next time